He's been successfully selling his product locally for 15 years, but thinks the time is right for expansion like... nationwide. I don't know, so I can simulate after What do you want? <laughs> I feel a chill in the air tonight. Memories have filled my head. Bittersweet. Thank you. My name is Levi Roots. I'm looking for 50,000 for 20% in my reggae reggae sauce. I've been in the music business for over 30 years. Bro, what's up? I'm a producer. Come here. I'm going to show you something. Fucking This guy. Come here, bro. What's going on, man? Check this out, man. Doing the washing up. Sorry, man. But I just have to show you this. Remember that track in Stan, Levi Roots? Oh yeah, 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 episode. yeah, yeah, reggae sauce, reggae sauce. Yeah, that's the one, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, I've just seen what he's up to these days, man. He must be doing well now. Well, man. yeah, man, he's made loads of money, man. Yeah, he's proper yes. famous now. In fact, he's opened up his own restaurant. What, really? Yeah. I told you about it. Look, bro, let me check this up. Let me get this up now to see this, man. Where is this? Levi Roots. Okay, okay. so we'll put it in. Levi Roots Restaurant. Oh, yeah. All oh, right, okay. What's it called? Let me see what this name is trying to say. Levi Roots Caribbean Smokehouse. See, fucking hell. All right. You know what? Wait, I'm getting some cravings, man. I need to check this place out. Birthday treat, why not? Sounds perfect to me. There we go. Levi Roots Caribbean Smokehouse, here we come. This is it. Well, let's get this footage on the road, my brother. I'm gonna see what this Caribbean cuisine is trying to say. Yes. I'm going to be reviewing the shopping center. I've never been there before. We've both never been to this restaurant, but yeah, it's going to be a, like a two birds with one stone kind of thing. Yeah, I've been there once before. It's a big place, lovely, lovely yeah. shopping center. Good selection of restaurants there. Um, you would like some of them if you was to see what they had there. Okay. They've got some mixed Mexican place you don't know about. El Mexicano. <laughs> Some next one, trust me, it looks nice. I've been in there once and it was nice. Uh, By the time you see this video, it will be 2017, so a happy new happy year. Happy new year. Happy new year to all you people out there. It's Zarko's birthday today. 32 years young. Not just for a while, you wanna have my child. Say that we were meant to be here. If you ever wanna make me smile, think of only you alone. And what the future brings, I'll give you anything Many kisses with a dozen rows Woman of my heart, deep down within All I want is you to love I... But I was saying, what if actual, if Levi was actually there He just came to visit to see how the, the, the restaurant's doing Yeah, I'm just come down to see how it's going <laughs> I'm gonna sample these Careful that hurt you. Stabbing it's boy. Fucking acrylic. Isn't Jesus. It? It's like someone's cut with a fucking CAD machine. <laughs> that is actually really good on you. He's beginning to believe. <laughs> <laughs> you have the blue pill. In the left, you have the red pill. Make your choice, Neil. Choice. Free your mind. <laughs> <laughs> you know when he drives over the guy like, and you see the coat just black. Free your mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, your quotes are jokes, bro. Do the fucking Agent <laughs> Smith next, man. You're like a virus. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got a suit and tie, which is what I really need. We need props, that's what I'm trying yeah, to say. We need props for this shit. <laughs> Mr. Anderson, I can see you with them. Um... <laughs> <laughs>
is it? Oh. Big reveal. You can get my Well, just put your phone there, read it. Vlog style. Fucking hell. I'm told it. Yeah, man. Do we just hear yeah, now? It's probably bare noise, bare people. I can't even get that straight. Look at that. It's too much. There's too much people. There's too much shops here, man. Mate, here, you, if you come here, yeah. Fucking, fucking. Listen, if you come here and you ain't got no money, you may as well turn back straight. <laughs> <laughs> the shops are ridiculous. It's too yeah. much. Fucking, you know, look, HMB. Yeah, HMB Sports Direct. Nah, we need to make. Fucking hell. We need an information board. Let's go over there. Let's see what's trying to say. We're struggling here, man. TGI Fridays. Okay. So we're gonna walk from there to there. Let's go. Fucking like halos around us, man. Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> fucking hell, mate! We've got a fucking IKEA here. What's the point? <laughs> what is the point? How are you gonna longer all of that <laughs> fucking longer all of that yeah. flat packing business going on, man? What the? All right, my brother. So, yeah, so look, what are you trying to say so now? We've we'll just, we'll just, we've located it, yeah. Yeah. yeah we're gonna man. go in there, sample I'm it. Forward to like, lapping up all this food, man. Man's hungry. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Reviews coming. Hello. Table for two. Table for two. So Zarko, you're here now. What are you yeah, trying man. to say? Bro, I just got the menus now, I just gotta go through it, see what there is. We're looking at food for these drinks first. Okay. Let me show you what this menu is trying to say. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Levi Roots, <laughs> we stick to our roots. <laughs> Lord of mercy, yeah. <laughs> Lord of mercy. We've got the traditional curry goat here. Are you okay with spicy food? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so you'll be fine. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> you'll be fine. So we just ordered. We've got starter, uh, the fish cakes. Me and Zark are going to sample them. And we've got two drinks. I've just done, gone with the Diet Coke. And Zarka's gone with the mango juice. Keep it simple. There's so much stuff on the menu, to be fair. You'd probably have to come back here a second time to sample the other stuff. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But um, yeah, and we've got your chicken, which is. I just got a double breast, boneless double breast chicken with medium spice. Yeah, the, the, the waitress was very nice in, in advising us with the best spices. We can handle hot, which you know. Yeah. But she left a bit of hesitation in the <laughs> mind there about how hot the smokehouse is. She said it's hot. She says she's not Jamaican, she don't handle spicy food. Coincidentally, she's Portuguese. Zarko's from Portugal. So we've got something in common there. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? What did you order? What, what, what part of the chicken did you get? Oh yeah, I got half chicken. I think she thought it was too much. Did she have, she said, oh, it's a lot. But I can, yeah, but you can eat like a I flipping horse. Half a chicken. This, guy, bit, this, guy, this guy can eat like a horse, it's ridiculous. Yeah. See that? Right, Zarko's gonna sample the fish cake. See what he's trying to say. What is that? What sauce is that? I have got a clue. Looks like hollandaise or some sort of mix and mayo. Mmm. Oh yeah. Is that good? Let right, me see that. Let nice, me zoom in on that. Look at that. All kinds of tastiness in there. Okay, so give me a rating out of five, yeah? Give it a four. Four, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Zarko's just tried it. I'm gonna try this. Apparently it's boiling hot. Oh yeah. Mm. 
What's it trying to say, man? Well, you know this food better than me. Hang on, hang on. Bit of lime. That Hainsley area. <laughs> Oh, I can taste the scotch bonnet now. I've got some scotch bonnet in there. Okay. I'll give you a four as well. Okay. Levi Roots just turned up. What did we say in the car? Zaku. I can't believe it. Zarko said this. That's Zaku, man. I told you, he needs to be here for, for, the, for, the, for the main event, man. Boy. Everything, everything I come out right now, you hear me? <laughs> we gotta see what this food is trying to say. An hour and a half to two hours ago, we were just watching my man on YouTube. Yeah. What are you trying to say then, bro? Yeah, man, this is it. It's like I said, our prophecy came true. That's the extra hot sauce, yeah? Remember that. See what that's trying to say. So we've got extra hot sauce here. We've got rice and peas. My brother here. Two potato fries. And some double breasted chicken. I'm looking forward to this. Time. Take the first bite. Take try, try one of the fries. Go on, bruv. Sample it. Nice and crispy. Yeah? Good texture. Oh, okay. Take a take up a piece of the chicken and see what it's trying to say. Told me that that would be Very smoky. Yeah? Like it's from like a pop of smoke. Mm. Okay, thank you. Thank you. What's the verdict? You happy? It's not spicy at all. Okay. So do you want to... Nice. I'll tell you what. Sample that. Okay. Let's see what it's just trying to say. It's not. I'm getting disappointed. It's very tasty. That chicken it looks very tasty. You can say. But it's very tasty though. Come. <laughs> right. We we'll sample a piece of the chicken, yeah? Put some spring onion in there. Okay. Yeah, I can taste the smoke. It's got that nice. You can tell, you can taste smoke in it. Can I dip it in there? Dip it. Dip it, man. Don't worry about that. It's nice. No, not really. <laughs> You're just a. F I know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you did? Okay, we're gonna sample the rice, yeah? I'm gonna rice and peas up in that. Okay. It's good. It's just rice and peas. It's just rice, it's just rice and peas. <laughs> Can't go wrong. <laughs> Let's enjoy it, bro. No, I'm getting too happy. This is Zarko's, what is it called? It's basically brownie and ice cream, bro. With extra chocolate sauce. So true. Try the brownie as well. Oh, already? Man didn't even see that, boy. Jeez. Flash. Got Flash Gordon over here. Don't mess around, man. All right. What are you saying? What's the verdict? Nice one. Very, very nice. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I've been loving it. Okay. Moist. Pineapple chili upside down cake with honey and ginger ice cream. Coming like that man of master shit. <laughs> That's lovely. That's lovely. I'm not gonna lie people. It's good. I'll give that five out of five. Wow. Zarka's a brownie expert, yeah? Yeah. So I've had more he's very hard to please. Yeah. <laughs> What the hell? Well, why did it change so much? That's mad! Put the light back on there, see what happens. Okay. Now that's making a bit more sense. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> them cat like reflexes. Here we go. Yeah! We've got amateur lighting. All kinds of angles. Right. How's it going, guys? Again? We've just got back now and we've um, finished our vlog slash review birthday treat for Zarka 84 right here. So as you know, we went to Mr. Levi Root's Caribbean restaurant smokehouse. We'll let Zarka do the honors um, and see what he says first about it. So, I mean, overall, it, it was good. I did enjoy it. Um, whether it was the most authentic experience ever, I don't think it was it was catered for that. I think it was just catered for like everybody in general. Um, but the food, the chicken was very nice. I like the smoky, smoky taste to it, like it was on a, like a char grill or something. Um, the I think at be, if that place was very busy, I think the staff, like I don't think it would be quick because it took a. My only thing was about that place is it took a while to get served and trying to get our desserts ordered and all that. But the food itself when it came, yeah, it was it's what I expected, basically. It's what I expected, but it was nice. It's not like it was a horrible thing. I would go again, definitely, and try some other stuff on the menu, uh, see what I was trying to say. So, um, yeah, that's my opinion of it. I think it was all right. For bonus points goes, obviously, to seeing the man himself. He turned up. I'm there, like, nudging my man, like, uh, I swear that's my man. That's, I swear that's my man there. And you're like looking and you couldn't even fucking see what I was talking about and then the five seconds later you're like oh yeah <laughs> oh, oh yeah oh yeah oh, 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 oh. Oh, like, and I'm like oh for fuck's sake but yeah <laughs> like, like, like fucking that whatless <laughs> but yeah, all jokes aside it was it was awesome so my review pleasant experience again with the waiting thing which what he was saying about the time it took serve I thought the reason why they done that was a timing kind of thing where they were trying to get the starters out first so they left a long period in between so I thought maybe they want us to eat the starters have a break and then bring the main course then give us a chance to digest the main course and then they brought the dessert but I don't know if that was intentional no, or not but you think I, I just say no like, oh, sorry I'm just gonna say that bit was fine I'm talking about the part where we had our, we had the plates we finished our main course and we had the plates sitting there for bare time and the lady came and cleared it. It was that period between there and coming oh. back for that. Like, oh, I don't even like know. A... I don't even know she clocked on that we finish. Yeah, but that's my point. Like she should be patrolling. Okay. A bit more. But well, she's probably a bit scared anyway because I scared her off with yeah. the spices. She told me it was spicy. Yeah. And to be honest with you, if I'd got the proper spice, I would have probably been a bit more happy. But she says Levi Roots barbecue middle whatever it was. I can't remember. It was on the menu. That one was hot enough. And then when I saw about the bottom one, she said, no, 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 it's too hot. So I was like, okay, well, if you say so. Came. Yeah, uh, I sampled it and... Uh, it had a little bit of spice. Yeah, it was spice. It was nice. It was lovely. It I'm was not going nice. to say it's not nice, but when someone says something is spicy, it, the problem is it's very... Um, it's kind of like everybody has their own opinion about how spicy something is. And it obviously is hard to gauge because obviously if she doesn't re if she doesn't say that to the right people and she brings out that hot that hot hot sauce that she reckons is hot, some people might think that that's just gonna blow their head off. And she, steam's gonna come out their ears. She told the chef to give it extra hot, didn't she? Or something yeah. to me. Well, I think she's probably joking about that. Yeah. But if I had a second chance, <laughs> like a cat with nine lives, I'd probably go back and say, you know what? Give me the <laughs> give me the um give, give me the last one, the, the, the difficulty. So you got easy medium and hard isn't it the thing is yeah they're, so. miss, they're missing the hardest and mania settings but it's all good man. exactly it's all good man i mean i can't i can't diss that man it's all good they had a load of different things on the menu so what we had was it what i'm used to when it comes to jamaican cuisine or caribbean cuisine if you want to call it that no it didn't taste like authentic like street market style jerk house kind of food like it didn't have that taste to it however on the menu if you did notice they did have a selection said street food which i think is probably more going to be catered towards that kind of yeah um, yeah direction if you're like interested patties and all that stuff, yeah the patties, i wanted to sample i mean with the jerk chicken time. it didn't look like proper like it looked too um it looked refined 
toned down, if that makes sense. Like, like he said, Zarko said when we got it on the table, when you go to a jerk chicken shop or whatever, you see them, they're chopping it up on the board, you get, <laughs> and when you bite into that, you know when you get the bits of bones, like, yeah, yeah, that's you, it, yeah. this one here was very, like, it was just smooth, like, no, there's no rough edges yeah, around yeah. it, if that makes sense. So, yeah, it was good, nice experience, nice to go back there again, it wouldn't be an everyday thing, because Stratford, it's not local, um, but yeah, nice drive down there. As it was for, good. And what did you think about the actual shopping centre? Well, I was about to say that as for the shopping centre, that was amazing. Shopping centre was lovely. Yeah, they had so many shops. We didn't even go in there to look at shops because they put, to be honest, if we got in there, we'd have been there for hours and hours before and we didn't have money to be spending to go shopping. Yeah, Christmas has just been done. We ain't got time to go in there and start shopping. Now's the hangover. Regardless of, um, what's the sales called? But the Boxing Day sales and all that. Yeah, regardless yeah, of sorry. sales. I'm alright, thank you. No, no, no. How long have they been building that for? I haven't got a clue, but I must have taken years. Other than that, what do you think, Zarko? You had your good birthday treat? Well, thank you very much, my brother. I appreciate it, man. You happy? I had a good treat, man. I had a good time today. Absolute good laugh. If you've never been to the Westfield Shopping Centre before, Levi Roots Restaurant before, you need to go out there and, and see, see what, what it's trying, trying to say. say.